So let's go through this one. 4 sine of x cosine of x equals square root of 3. Hmm. Now this one's kind of interesting because um, we don't have a product equal to 0, so we can't apply the zero product property, right? So don't try to do that. Zero product property only works when you have a product equal to 0. Okay? We don't have any really identities or anything else that we could do you know, initially for this. But we recognize um, sine times cosine does ha is part of the double angle identity, right? But we need to get it to be a 2, not a 4. So well, I could say, well, why don't I write this as 2 sine of x cosine of x? Is that still the same thing? But now this is equal to sine of 2x. Now we can solve it like we did in chapter 4. Solve it the way we know how to do it, and then just divide by 2 at the very end. right? So the first thing I'm going to do is find all the solutions, so b. So find all of the solutions here. So therefore, um, knowing our unit circle, now we're looking for square root of 3. That's going to be the same, but sine is positive. That means it has to be above the x-axis, right? So it's going to be those two angles, which, by the way, are pi over 3 and 2 pi over 3. So we'll say 2x equals pi over 3. Now, do these have any symmetry with them? or any? Are they equidistant? No. So we'll just add 2 pi n. And then we have 2 pi over 3 plus 2 pi n. Oh, shoot. Right on. Let's put that up higher. So then we say 2x equals 2 pi over 3 plus 2 pi n. All right. Now, all we got to do is just solve for x. So remember, guys, dividing by 2 is the same thing as multiplying by 1 half. So therefore, this becomes pi over 6 plus pi n. And then this becomes 2 pi over 6, which is pi thirds. So that is all of the solutions. If I just wanted to find the solutions between 0 and 2 pi, then all I'm simply going to do is just take my solutions and just add different intervals of n. So let's play that game. So here, pi over 6. n is 0. My answer is pi over 6. When n is 1, that's pi over 6 plus pi. Right? Pi is 6 pi over 6, right? So 6 pi over 6 plus pi over 6 is 7 pi over 6. Now, if I add another pi, that's 13 pi over 6. Is that larger than 2 pi? Yeah, so i got to stop. But then I do the next one. n is 0, pi over 3. When n is 1, that's 3 pi over 3. 3 pi over 3 plus pi over 3 is 4 pi over 3. And if I did that again, I would get 7 pi over 3, but that's larger than 2 pi because 2 pi is 6 pi over 3. So that is my final answer. Okay.